Hey, it's Jasmine Taylor with Press Pause Productions. I'm at the African American Festival in Baltimore, Maryland. Stay tuned for more coverage for this weekend. I am Jasmine Taylor with Press Pause Productions, and I have the beautiful and lovely Miss Brave Williams right here. How are you today, Miss Brave? I am amazing. The energy here is phenomenal. Yes. Now, how did you hear about this event? Well, I'm hosting, um, and I'm actually uh, the face of Baltimore for Visit Baltimore. So they're actually one of the sponsors for the African American Festival. So I just, I'm by default also a part of this. Um, and like I said, I'm bringing out uh, Estelle tonight, as well as showing a sneak peek of my movie that I'm premiering um, called Bad Dad Rehab. It comes on TV One tonight at 7 p.m. as well as tomorrow. Gosh, now I know you're into music. How is that going so far for you? Um, music is going great. I'm actually in the studio right now recording my first album, so I'm looking forward to put that out um, at the end of summer. Oh, great. Your movie, uh, your upcoming movie. Can you tell us about, that, about a little about that, please? Bad Dad Rehab basically chronicles the life of four different men that um, are just basically learning how to be better fathers. Um, some of them, two of them aren't even aware that they're basically deadbeat dads, quote unquote. So it kind of really just, um, it showcases the healing process. And this m movie has really been ministering to a lot of men as we've been premiering it all over the country. And the response has just been amazing and, and life changing. It's really just about kind of fixing um, a broken relationship for the fathers out there that might not have a great relationship with their sons. It's showing you steps on how to um, just rekindle that. Wow, is this project personal to you or are you just like how it's showcasing a father in a different light? No, it's very personal to me. Um, whether I'm personally affected, not because my father was quote unquote not there so to speak, but he worked a lot. Do you know what I mean? So it's a, this film opened up my eyes that you could still be in your child's life, um, but still be an absentee dad. You know what I mean? So it's so many, the narrative of this film is it speaks on so many different levels. I just think it can it can um, touch a lot of different people. Wow, no, I'm excited for this. Now, besides the movie and music, what else do you have upcoming projects? Well, I'm actually uh, fly out to Atlanta tomorrow to film another movie. <laughs> Busy woman. Oh, yeah, I'm super excited about it. I wish I could divulge the details, but I can't quite yet. Um, but there's definitely uh, the acting is in the works and, and new movies um, to look out for. I'm really excited though about my project. It'll be it's my music project called Brave Williams. Um, I'll be releasing that at the end of the summer. That's so great. Now, what's your social media account so we can follow you and keep up with you? Yes, please follow me at Be More Brave. B M O R E B R A V E, um, as well as on my website BraveWilliamsWorld.com. You can actually download my last project, Fearless, for free off my website and I would just appreciate the support. Thank you so much, Miss Bray. Anytime. Anytime. Yes. Thank you too. Okay. Stay brave. Hello, I'm Jasmine Taylor with Press Pause Productions, and I have the lovely Tara Wallace here again, my girl. Tara, how are you today? I'm good, Jasmine. I'm so happy to see you here. I know, I'm excited to see you. Listen, she, like, I just saw Jasmine pop up at the empowerment tent, and I started screaming. She's like, what? What? Me? Like, it's me. Yeah. You're a new person. Oh, thank so you. So I saw you about two months ago. What have you been doing since the last two months? Listen, the last two months, that was one of the first events that I did when you saw me in Jersey, um, promoting the guys' potential and supporting the, the, new, the new salon in Jersey. But uh, listen, I've just been like trying to get the goddess potential and getting people to read it and 
you know, just to let people know that I'm writing and, and there's a reason why I'm writing and it's all in the goddess potential, like getting back to ourselves and that one-on-one -on -one relationship. So that's what I've been doing. And also managing three children, and, and uh, which are here at the African American Festival along with uh, Baby Gunner, who's right here. Oh, I see them all in the stroller. Now you're at the African American Festival in Baltimore right now. Yes. What brought you here? Um, what brought me here is I think it's an it's an amazing event. You know, like in New York City, we never get the chance to have like these type of festivals. It's like a street festival. It's not really or like in that one community that if you really don't live in. And so when they asked me to be a part of it, I was like, absolutely. So I'm very excited about it. Yes, well, thank you. Now I have to ask, what's next for you? More books, more acting? Well, you know, you do have to also always stay tuned to uh, Love & Hip Hop. Oh, yeah. You know, there's, there's still a story to be told, you know, and um, uh, hopefully by the end of this year, my children, my children's book will be out, which I'm working on right now. So I have to just put that out there because that's what, that's what we're kind of... Um, you know, that's kind of the, also a direction that I'm going and writing and exploring yeah. that and trying to unleash some of all of these feelings. Like if I, if I can't find a one-on-one -on -one acting partner to unleash them until I get that huge role, I have to, you know, find other ways to be artistic and writing has been one of those things. Yes, well, thank you so much, Tara Wallace. I hope to see you again in the future. Yes, yes and I feel like I can come to your house now. I can no, come over. No, please come on. Yes. yes, I'm in South Jersey. Okay, I'm coming over. Yes. I'm coming over. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jasmine Taylor with Press Pause Productions, and I have the amazing Jordan Banks. Hey How are you Jasmine, today? Hey, Jasmine, I'm good, I'm good. Give me a hug. He just did a great performance, guys. I know that was your song. Could he play on the radio? 105.3, oh, wow, Power yeah. 99 play it. Yes. I don't know that was you, so what was yes. the inspiration for that song? Just, uh, I went to the studio, and I was very angry and very upset and very frustrated. And I told myself that when I leave the studio, I'm on, when, before I leave, I want to make myself feel happy. And that's the song that came about, Keep You In Mind. Sometimes you got to keep yourself in mind. Okay. You know, sometimes you got to, you know. So it's about yourself, no sexual woman or anything? It's about, it's about that too, it's both. Okay. It's both. It's both. Because you, you can still feel like that and feel like that. Yeah. If that makes any sense. No, I get it, I get it. Do you? <laughs> yeah. Cool. I'm going to talk to you after, I guess. <laughs> but, All right, all right. So your music, <laughs> what got you into music? Well, it was rooted in my family, my mother, my grandmother, my father, my grandfather. I mean, my, my you know, <laughs> everybody. My, everybody. My great grandfather was an organist, and uh, my grandmother was a jazz musician. She sung in clubs, and you know, so it was just rooted in my, you know, in my, in my, in my family. And I've been singing since I was three years old in the church. So, you know, I've been inspired to touch the world and you know, inspire the people. That's so amazing. So, what's next for you, Mr. Banks? Oh wow! So so much. You know, so much is next, but I'm so thankful for now. You know, I'm so thankful for now that I can't even boast and brag about what's next. Whatever God has next for me is what he has for me, and I'm willing to do that. I know that's right. Well, thank you so much. Wait, before I leave you, what are your social media accounts? My Instagram is Jordan, G-U-O-R-D-A-N, and my Twitter is Jordan, G-U-O-R-D-A-N. Twitter and Instagram, same thing. Facebook, Jordan Banks. <laughs> Thank Snapchat, you so much. Jordan Banks. Snapchat, Jordan Banks. That's very important. <laughs> Thank you again. Thank Say you. Philly's very own 215 267 61. I'm 859. I'm I'm a Jersey girl. Say so yeah. cross the bridge though. <laughs> <laughs>
It's Jasmine Taylor. I hope you enjoyed our coverage for the African American Festival in Baltimore, Maryland. Stay tuned for our next event. <laughs>